Yeremiyahu, Jeremiah 52. Siddiq Yahu was one and twenty years old when he began to reign. And he reigned eleven years in Yerushalayim. And his mother's name was Cham Utal, the daughter of Yeremiyahu of Livna. And he did that which was evil in the eyes of Yahuwah, according to all that Yahu Yachim had done. For through the anger of Yahuwah it came to pass in Yerushalayim and Yahuda, till he had cast them out from his presence. And Sidich Yahu rebelled against the king of Babel. And it came to pass in the ninth year of his reign, in the tenth month, in the tenth month of the month, rather in the tenth day of the month, that Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babel, came, he and all his army, against Jerusalem, and pitched against it, and built forts against it round about. So the city was besieged unto the eleventh year of King Sidik Yahu. And in the fourth month, in the ninth day of the month, the famine was sore in the city, so that there was no bread for the people of the land. Then the city was broken up, and all the men of war fled, and went forth out of the city by night, by the way of the gate, between the two walls, which was by the king's garden. Now the Kazdim were by the city round about, and they went by the way of the plain. But the army of the Kazdim pursued after the king and overtook Eth Sidikiyahu in the plains of Yericho, and all his army was scattered from him. Then they took Eth the king and carried him up unto the king of Babel to Rivla in the land of Hamath, where he gave judgment upon him. And the king of Babel slew Eth the sons of Sidikiyahu before his eyes. He slew also Eth all the princes of Yahuda in Rivla. Then he put out Eth the eyes of Sidikiyahu, and the king of Babel bound him in chains, and carried him to Babel, and put him in prison till the day of his death. Now in the fifth month, in the tenth day of the month, which was the nineteenth year of Nebuchadne Sazar, king of Babel, came Nebuzar Adan, captain of the guard, which served the king of Babel, into Yerushalayim, and burned at the house of Yahuwah, and at the king's house, and at all the houses of Yerushalayim, and at all the houses of the great men burned he with fire. And at all the army of the Kazdim that were with the captain of the guard, broke down at all the walls of Yerushalayim round about. Then Nebuzar Adan, the captain of the guard, carried away captive certain of the poor of the people, and eth the remnant of the people that remained in the city, and eth those that fell away, that fell to the king of Babel, and eth the rest of the multitude. But Nebuzar Adan, the captain of the guard, left certain of the poor of the land for vine dressers and for husbandmen. Also eth the pillars of brass that were in the house of Yahuwah, and at the bases, and at the brazen sea that was in the house of Yahuwah. The Kazdim broke, and carried at all the brass of them to Babel. At the cauldrons also, and at the shovels, and at the snuffers, and at the bowls, and at the spoons, and at all the vessels of brass wherewith they ministered took they away. And at the basins, and at the firepans, and at the bowls, and at the cauldrons, 
and doth the menorah, and doth the spoons, and doth the cups, that which was of gold in gold, and that which is, was of silver in silver, took the captain of the guard away. The two pillars, one sea, and twelve brazen bulls that were under the bases, which King Shalomah had made in the house of Yahuwah. The brass of all these vessels was without weight. And concerning the pillars, the height of one pillar was eighteen cubits, and a fillet of twelve cubits did compass it. And the thickness thereof was four fingers. It was hollow. And a chapter of brass was upon it. And the height of one chapter was five cubits, with network and pomegranates upon the chapters round about, all of brass. The second pillar also and the pomegranates were like unto these. And there were ninety and six pomegranates on a side, and all the pomegranates upon the network were a hundred round about. And the captain of the guard took Eth Serayahu, the chief priest, and Eth Sephana Yan Yahu, rather, Sephan Yahu, the second priest, and Eth the three guarders of the door. He took also of, out of the city a eunuch, which had the charge of the men of war, and seven men of them that were near the king's person, which were found in the city. And Eth the principal scribe of the host, who mustered Eth the people of the land, and threescore men of the people of the land, that were found in the midst of the city. So Nevazar Adan, the captain of the guard, took them and brought them to the king of Babel to Rivla. And the king of Babel smote them and put them to death in Rivla, in the land of Hamath. Thus Yahuda was carried away captive out of his own land. This is the people whom Nebuchadne Sadzar carried away captive in the seventh year. 3,000 Yahudim and 3 and 20. In the 18th year of Nebuchadne Sadzar, he carried away captive from Yerushalayim 830 and 2 persons. In the 3 and 20th year of Nebuchadne Sadzar, Nebuchadne Adan, the captain of the guard, carried away captive of the Yahudim 740 and 5 persons. All the persons were 4,600. And it came to pass in the 7 and 30th year of the captivity of Yahu Yachin, king of Yahuda, in the 12th month, in the 5 and 20th day of the month, that Evil Merodach, king of Babel, in the first year of his reign, lifted up at the head of Yahu Yachin, king of Yahuda, and brought him forth out of prison, and spoke kindly unto him, and set at his throne above the throne of the kings that were with him in Babel, and changed at his prison garments, and he did continually eat bread before him all the days of his life. And for his diet, there was a continual diet given him of the king of Babel, every day a portion until the day of his death, all the days of his life.